Hello there guys, Feng Fur here. Uh, before I crack on with this video, I just want to um, apologise for the um, for the for the lack of content. Well, it's not exactly a lack of content. I've actually been getting content out, but um, I haven't been able to comment out the past couple of days because I, I had I recently had some extractions, and it's been very 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 difficult for me to actually commentate. Uh, I'm not going to be able to be on too long before my mouth decides to go. Rah! So I'm going to just very quickly go through something that's been pretty interesting, actually. So you might have heard about this uh, pretty recently about a game called a Game Dev Tycoon. Now the game itself looks pretty interesting, and I will more than likely actually uh, cover the game. I'll do a first impressions, and if I like, yeah, I might even do a let's play. However. Um, the devs, Green Art Games, did something rather uh, clever and, uh, in some cases, silly. Um, there's been a there's a bit of a there's a bit of a double-edged sword with this. So what had happened is, what they did is they uh, they actually released the game. I think it was yesterday. It actually says yesterday, well, April 29th, and it's now the first. Oops. So in a few days, but then, <laughs> but um. They actually released the game, but they also uh, released a cracked version of the game. So what they cleverly did is, with the cracked version of the game, is it's exactly the same as the uh, as the actual original copy, the proper legit copy. But what they did is, a few hours into the game, um, you, this would actually come up. It would say, but boss, it seems that while many players play our new game, they steal it by downloading the crack version rather than buying it illegally. If players don't buy the games they like, we will soon or later go bankrupt. And then, of course, an hour or two later, they would actually will go bankrupt. Now, this is pretty. Uh, this is I, I actually, I actually, I couldn't help smiling when I first seen this, and I thought, <laughs> you know, but. Yeah, I think this just proves something now. I mean, when this game first come out, if we just have a quick look here. So after a day of it coming out, there was only 214 genuine versions that were being played. And 3,104 are ones that were cracked. And it's like, wow, really? That's an awful lot. And there is actually a few reasons for this. Now... Uh, unfortunately, the the only digital distribution they are with at the moment is uh, Microsoft. Now, not a lot of people use Microsoft Day because, let's face it, it's shit. No, no, don't give me that. It is shit. It is shit. Don't argue with me. It's shit. And I, ref I refuse to change it until they stop. Until they stop actually updating uh, Windows Seven. Until then, fuck it off. But yeah, so you could only actually buy it from. Um, Obviously, the, the Windows um, Windows App Store, which is kind of weird, and you can also buy it from the developers themselves. Now, that means they haven't actually had that much um, publicity with it. Now, obviously, obviously, after this little stunt, they've had quite a lot more publicity off it. I, I, I recognise some of the channels that I've been following have um, picked up on it, and. I'm just amazed. I'm actually just amazed. So yeah, over ninety three point six percent of players stole the game. It's like, uh it's all the best thing about it though was people were actually posting on forums about it. They actually posted on the the Greenheart game forums saying you know, for example, yeah, why are there so many people that pirate it ruins me? I have like five million and then people suddenly start pirating everything I made. Even if even if it gets really good ratings, and is there any way from keep up and change path that 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 that's that is yeah that's exactly what it is. It's fucking irony. Oh god, absolutely amazing what they've done. I mean, it, it, it's it's not it's not new. I, I'm pretty sure other games have gone around about that road. I'm pretty sure that, um, one I can remember was uh, the Sega Mega Drive, Pugsy. I don't suppose uh, many of you remember that, but Pugsy, if if you uh, had the cracked version, it, it would play, I think, the first four levels, and then uh, it would just simply shut off. It, you, you wouldn't be able to do anything else with it. Uh, a few other games, I think there was a game on the SNES that did that as well, I'm sure. can't remember what it was. I mean, uh, I wasn't that much of a SNES player. But, uh, yeah, it's... It, 
the funny thing as well is that people were actually posting Steam forums as well. Now, this game isn't even on Steam, yet they were posting on the Steam forum saying, uh, how do I get past? So, guys, guys, I've reached some point where if I make a decent game, it barely sells because of privacy. Yeah, and then he says maybe I sh- maybe I should re- check, research DRM, and it's like, ooh, <laughs> kind of uh, shoot yourself in the foot there. Yeah, now which is actually a really big shame for these guys because obviously, as you can see, not many people have actually ported the GIS anyway, but. It's a bit of a shame because obviously uh, th- th- this opens up eyes to a lot of uh, game developers, and this is the reason why games such as SimCity, yes, I'm saying it, SimCity has got this DRM in the first place. They're afraid it's just going to get cracked. This is pretty much proof right here. And do you know what? If it keeps happening, not all games are just going to be always online, and there's nothing we're going to be able to do about it. At all. This is the reason why game developers are making games that are always online. You know, and you can't blame them. You can't blame them. I, I, don't get me wrong. I could see the other side. I could see why people pirate. I mean, sometimes there's no demo for it. Demos are a bit of a touchy subject because demos technically don't help developers at all. In fact, they usually make losses when they produce a demo. Um, but. You know, it's I, I can I can understand it. It's, it's like people want to try, try the game out. It's, well, you know, fair enough. But you still you still pirate in it. You're still getting the full version. You're not actually giving money back. This is the reason why we. This is the reason why we can't have nice things. It really is. So, yeah. So that was just a quick update anyway, you know, um, I should be back on track with my commentating in the next uh, few days or so, hopefully once my mouth's fully healed up. I'm sure you didn't want to know about that, but you know, I'll best tell you. I, forgot to, I did actually forget to make a video uh, before I uh, had the extractions, which is really silly of me. I've still got some uh, videos, um, still got some content to upload anyway. For the next couple of days until I can get my rhythm back. But until then, um, I'll see you guys later.